Have you ever wondered how fast the universe is actually expanding? It's been nearly 100 years since we discovered that the universe itself is expanding. But describing the expansion with a speed is not only mind-bending, but even downright alarming. In one of the biggest discoveries of the 20th century, we learned that the fabric of space itself is stretching over time, causing distant galaxies to move farther and farther apart from each other. This is observed in all directions across the cosmos. But how can we quantify this expansion rate? Is it faster than light? That's what we'll explore today on this journey to understand the reality of our expanding universe. When we observe light from distant cosmic objects like galaxies, we see that their spectral lines are shifted to redder wavelengths compared to what we'd expect. This redshift has three possible causes. One, gravitational redshift from light escaping massive objects. Two, Doppler shift from the relative motion between the source and observer. Three, redshift from the expansion of space itself, stretching the wavelength of light. For objects in our cosmic neighborhood within tens of millions of light years, the expansion redshift is negligible compared to Doppler shifts from local motions. But for extremely distant objects billions of light years away, the expansion of space dominates, causing a redshift that appears to increase the more distant the object is from us. In the 1920s, astronomer Edwin Hubble made a groundbreaking discovery. By measuring distances and redshifts of galaxies, he showed that the universe itself is expanding. The more distant a galaxy, the greater its redshift, as if it were receding from us at a faster velocity. But these galaxies aren't actually moving that fast through space itself. It's the fabric of space that is stretching between galaxies, carrying them apart and redshifting their light in the process. So if the expansion isn't a true velocity, how do we describe the expansion rate? We use the dimensionless constant called the Hubble parameter, measured in kilometers per second per megaparsec. Current measurements put the Hubble constant between 67 and 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. What this means is that for every 3.26 million light years of distance, the expansion redshift is equivalent to a recession velocity of around 70 kilometers per second faster. At a distance of 14 billion light years, the expansion velocity appears to be the speed of light. Even farther and galaxies seem to recede faster than light, but it's just an apparent velocity from the stretching of space. This expansion rate is not constant, but slowing down over cosmic time as the universe's density decreases, governed by dark energy's repulsive effect. One fascinating consequence is that there's a cosmic horizon of around 18 billion light years. Galaxies beyond this distance are permanently unreachable, even for something traveling at light speed. But amazingly, Galaxies between 14 and 18 billion light years away are still reachable if we leave soon enough at relativistic speeds. There are about as many galaxies in this range as within the nearer 14 billion light year horizon. So while nothing local travels faster than light through space, the universe's expansion redefines our cosmic horizons in a mind-bending way. The expansion of the universe doesn't break the cosmic speed limit. It transcends it with the stretching of space itself, not through motion. For every distance, we can calculate an equivalent recession velocity. But make no mistake, this apparent faster-than-light expansion is a profound property of space-time and the evolution of our entire universe across the cosmic ages. Studying how space stretches reveals deep insights into the origin, composition, and ultimate fate of our universe.